Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for today. This one is on my neglected villain uh, and my flying jester. I'm not sure if I showed this in a previous video. You guys have all seen my uh, bat drone, uh, collector's and trinket. This is just the villain version of the, uh, the flying jester. Same one as uh, from the, the Harley duo. But uh, on to the video today. A few months ago I did a video um, Going opening up 99 at the metal caches to show you if they're even worth it or what type of XP you would get from them uh, to see if it's, it's worth it. Uh, the reason why is the prices still kind of remain the exact same as what they were in the past. Uh, very absorbent. Uh, so we do uh, nth metal here. This is the PC broker, so it might be a bit different from the PS side. Uh, nth metal detectors, you're still sitting at 3.84 million for one. And one detector gets you five to six cache drops. Uh, I've never seen more than six. Uh, that's if you're playing the full hour. And then obviously you can see the cachets. They're still like, you know, 2.2 .2 million, two and a half to all the way to three and a half million. So by no means are these things cheap. Uh, so if you're actually getting at the metal that's worth it, um, then that might be a good thing. If not, then what I did here is, uh, before I open these 99 to show you totally what you get, uh, I did like a second little example here. So I ran my tune, I ran it for one hour, I made sure I was in combat or, or killing it out every, I think it's like eight minutes is the timer, and this is the type of nth metal that I got uh, for that hour drop. Um, and then I've got six caches, which will equal an hour as well. So I'll compare basically what you can get now uh, to what you'd get from these, these capsules. Okay, so okay, so this is what you'd get from one hour of regular playtime, as an example, and this is what you'd get if you had a detector running and you got six extra cache drops. Uh, so to give an example of what the XP was worth, uh, twenty to nine. So this these are the uh, regular drops. So we got four hundred, five hundred, nine hundred, five hundred. So that's twenty three hundred for regular playtime, and then if you ran six uh, detector the entire time and got the six drops. You'd get only eight hundred, a thousand, a thousand and fifty, a thousand and fifty versus twenty three hundred, so less than half the the XP for the same amount of time. But I guess it's still technically a free thousand XP uh, when you think of it like that. Okay, so after opening those 99 nth metal caches, these are the nth metals that we got. Uh, and if we just pop over the screen here, so we got 9,000, 1,050, 1,980, 3,800, 5,500, and 140. So that's 21,470 nth metal XP from those 99 detectors, or 99 nth metals. Uh, to get 99 caches, best case scenario, that's going to be about 17 detectors. Uh, obviously, there's sometimes we're not going to be in combat the entire full hour killing an ad. Uh, so it's gonna probably gonna end up being more than 17 detectors. Uh, sometimes I'll get like five, sometimes I'll get four, sometimes I'll get six. Uh, so give or take, best case scenario, you're gonna be at 17 detectors to get those nine nth metal caches, and you get 21,470 XP uh, as an example. Now, if we go back to my previous video, which I'll link in the description, I got the same amount of caches, 99, I only got 10,000 XP. So I got an extra 11,470 XP after the increase um, whenever game update that was when the artifacts hit 160. So I got a 73% increase from back then to now with the end metal caches. So you got to ask yourself, is that worth the paying the millions of dollars on the broker? Like if you go to the marketplace, I think they're about 180 for one and one would get you uh, obviously the max six uh, cache drops. So it's it's up to you if you think um, you can afford those prices or you want to put the real life money into it or, or PSN or whatever. But if you're looking to art, level your artifacts faster uh, to get those 160 feats, uh, this is a nice increase. Now, before it wasn't really worth it back then. 
Like um, all those 17 detectors for 10,000 XP when you need like 120,000 to get to 120, that's a bit unrealistic. And even now, to get 20, you get 21,000 XP from this, and you need like 700,000 XP for a full rank 60. So it's basically, um, it's about 500,000 XP to go from 120 to 160. And if we're dividing it by what we just got here, that's 23. Uh, so I would need, basically, you're looking at like 2,300 Nth Metal Cache drops to get a full artifact from 120 to 160, um, which would be about 380 uh, <laughs> detectors. So <laughs> if you want to go out and buy 380 Nth Metal detectors <laughs> so you can get your artifact to 160, then by all means... But um, right now, at least it's an upgrade, uh, 73%. So it's at least it's something. Uh, so take it what you will. Um, if it's worth the investment to you guys, go ahead and do it to get your artifacts up. If not, if you've got detectors, make sure you actually use them because you do get a bonus nowadays compared to what, what they were in the past. But um, there you go, guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.